Looks like it's been on fire. Rob's steaming up and down. That, the damage. Friday morning, blue skies warming up. So some wheat seed already been delivered as well as this. It's just a new litter picker. So when we get sticks in the boiler, jamming it, need a litter picker to get it out. Uh, if the litter picker breaks, then we can't reach. So it's always imperative to have a spur one because they're not the most reliable things, litter pickers. Anyway, we're gonna go and cut this barley. We'll probably take some trailers, drop them on the poor headland while we're waiting for the sun a bit to get a bit warmer. We'll run up with a combine and start. Hopefully fixing the steering angle sensor as well on that vent today. Yeah, it's for reaching down in that gap. Chris has sorted it. it uh, there's a sensor in here and the plug's under there inside the axle, but it got condensation in it. This is what the sensor looks like. That's like, tells it what lock the tractor's on. So they brought that and a wiring loom just in case it was a wiring fault. But yeah, it just needed a bit of moisture getting out of it. This trailer's tipped up, just drying out now. Gonna move a little bit of barley out the shed and then we've got room for tipping. And then we'll uh, go and take it up to the field. Amazing blue skies, really warm already, even though it's about half 10, 11 o'clock. I've got this tether on the Merlot, and off we go, cutting some barley. I'm sure the combine fits through this gateway. There's loads of blackberries there, isn't there? This is gonna take it wide. Oh, sour them. Easy peasy. Very poor, this headland. I mean, the rest of the field's not, not ideal. This is some cover crop sewn in. Up the cilia there. Probably some linseed. Mustard, maybe. This will absolutely bounce out the ground once it gets a bit more light when the barley's gone. Especially with this hot, warm weather, we've got absolute glorious day. We're supposed to have a week of this. Like a rocket launch, isn't it, when that falls out? Well, that's a good sign. We've got dust. Someone has just sent me this off the farming forum. You know, I was saying about wanting to do that thing for kids last week for charity. Um, letting them have a ride on the tractor. Unfortunately, I didn't see this post till today that someone had messaged me. But it looks like, if you read that bottom line, there could be an exemption because it wouldn't be for agriculture. So, um, which means it's quite good for doing charity events and things like that. But what? how do you interpret it? Can you see it there? Might have to pause it. Got this now, but... That's how much rain we've had just in the last couple of days. I'd already opened it a little bit, but I went back and got the camera. Yeah, it's proper wet. Anyway, put it on the Merlot. First load just about to come off. I had to get the ladder, poke that auger around. It wouldn't fold out. It was sticking and not meshing together. I'd just been on the phone to Martin in Herefordshire and he didn't believe I was combining, so I had to FaceTime him because I was like, completely blue skies, 25 degrees, glorious weather. And he said, it's raining here. Miserable puddles, the lot. Some pigeons getting up off that, isn't it? Uh. Dave's had to go, so I'm now carting grain on this. Morgan's gone picking a cultivator up because he's been doing a demo somewhere. He's gonna go out with the quad then. Rob's telling hay, and uh, hopefully this sun's gonna dry it out. Looks a big field when you look right across it. See Fiddler's Ferry Power Station there, only four chimneys left. There used to be another four there, but they blew them up in the winter. Supposed to be doing the rest this summer, but they haven't yet. 
I'll uh, drop the trailer I've got on the back now and pick that one up because that's got half a tank, well, half full. Not too load off this field already. I'll start driving past. Bend the plow. Yeah, uh, I know we probably cut off as well, so that's a bit disappointing. Spring barley that's so late has really struggled this year. I've actually just fell asleep for 15 minutes. Uh, John, wasn't, I wasn't quite full, so I hadn't realised I'd knocked my phone on silent. I thought, oh, I'll just, just rest my eyes a second. I fell asleep for 15 minutes. Two risk calls. My phone was on silent because I'd had it out of my case and I was to put it back in my case and knocked it on silent. I feel loads better for it, so that's good. I remember when I was in New Zealand, it'd be one of my dad's friends, they, after the dinner every day, they always had to sleep for half an hour and then just stayed up until dead late at night. And yeah, I feel refreshed. But Charlotte's the opposite. She says, oh, if she has a sleep, she feels worse. I don't think so. I feel great now. In fact, that could be today's quiz question. Who's capable of power napping and feeling better? And who power naps and feels worse? I love how when they plant trees, the council, landscaping they don't actually think about people getting out of field gateways but there might be a miss with the drill looks like it's been on fire yeah, there's a past there I don't know if we ran out of seed but it definitely looks like it's burnt out <laughs> you not believe what's in the front of the combine massive massive boulder um, I'm going to smash it out with the camera. Bit sharp, it's meant to it. Oh, it's concrete, isn't it? Yeah, it's damaged one of the peck here. Has it damaged the peck? No. It's damaged like the ladder bit. You know, like the rake. The thing, oh, it's bent the bar on the rake? Yeah. Let's have a look. Climb in, have a look. Might have to turn that off and close it flat, maybe. Yeah. Bent one of the feed rate bars. We might have to cut it out if we can't get at it. A bit of 13 ratchet and see if we can undo it where it is. Pass it here and I'll grab it. I'm just going to try and unbolt this from the inside because I don't think it's going to go round that pulley. That's the damage, so 13 pound, not too bad is it, hopefully, just a bit of downtime. Dealer's got some in but because it's such a light crop we can just run the rest of the afternoon without one in, it won't affect it too much at all. That could have been a lot worse if it made it up through the concave, just the wrong shape for the stone crap to grab it because it was kind of squaring rough concrete and not smooth. And obviously it doesn't smash it up so took that bar off this bent run it without it finish this field go on to the next i've already dropped the trailer there now that's why i'm empty i'm gonna go get the header trailer that's over there rob's just turned up with the rake to roll the headlands over we'll probably bail the middle of the field and roll the headlands last or tomorrow but we want to try and get in the middle bail today because if the weather does break tomorrow there's, there's loads of straw to get in and that hay back at it. Oh, the dust. Yeah, Rob's just going to roll that row over. It doesn't really matter on the edges, but at the other ends, it pulls it away from the middle, so he's got something to turn with the bail out. And also, it's been driven on by the track, the, sorry, the combine when it turns at the end. So by standing it up and getting a bit of air into it. Hopefully it'll bail in an hour or two once it's bail in the middle of the field. If not, it'll take the rain better or at least we'll bail it in the morning. But yeah, he's flipped it that way out the way of the rows of straw. Can you hear that? I tried ringing Rob as I passed him. His phone connected to the Bluetooth on this. He's now over there and it won't stop ringing in the cab. There's no way the Bluetooth works over that distance. It's not on the screen, but the tractor's just ringing. 
<laughs> Mad's that. Oh, is that Simon? Nice big chip on there. Right, turn the tractor off. That's good, it stopped ringing. Rob's thrown the headland over. I have got the last load off this field. John's moved behind them trees now. You can already see him. There you go. There he is, making a dust. Oh, there's a big bird. Yeah, we're gonna go back. Rob's gonna stick the baler on and I'll come back for more loads of barley and we'll try and bale the center. See how wet it was though. Look at the water still in there. John is absolutely flying. It always looks like the reel's going really quick as well on the camera. I mean, it is going at relatively decent speed because he is fair moving. That's a bit annoying. Morgan's uh, emptied in the bag. Right, that trailer's empty. I'm going to go back for another one now as John finishes off. So I'm going to put this into bail mode. Pull that lever. Oh, wrong one. Oh. Someone's wired that up wrong. So there's a cable. We normally put a cable tie on what's the, put the positive. So I'll put it from into positive. But that's wrong. So I'll have to put it pump into minus. Oh, that's float. So there you go, that's minus now. You think the lever just work in the opposite direction, but it doesn't. So hopefully now, if I pull that lever, Got a bail wedge up. That's it. Sorted. Let's go. Bit of a blockage of chip, so the boiler's gone off, it's run out of chip. So just sort that out now before I go back. Looks like it's just bridged in here. Big stick or something, maybe. Another one there, actually. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could run a baffle screen on the chipper. Rob's steaming up and down. Not many bales on this field. What can we see from here? One, two, three, four, five, six already. It's fair clear a bit. There's a calendar picture. Um, feeling the straw now, he's, he's romping across the field. It's obviously a warm breeze. But it might get damp when he gets over there where it's not, where it's not been cut as many hours. But at least it's less to turn if we get heavy dew tonight or it rains. my favorite song of all time if i put the camera in cinematic mode can you see how deep them ruts are i'm not sure whether you can anyway morgan is ripping them out now and leveling them with the Toronto. it's absolutely perfect conditions dry on the top bit of moisture so it's loosish to pull not too hard but it's also not crumbling to too much where it'd end up slumping again. But yeah, there's these huge ruts here. There was some over there. It's like the sun's setting, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna go back and get a trailer full of straw. I just thought I'd see how he's getting on with this. Doing a cracking job. But you can see actually he's probably done two pass on it. These are really deep rocks these. Tractor's just on tick over pulling it. The birthday window today is John's in the background there. We've got Glenda McFarland's 43, James McFarland. Grohan is 
50 and he's in Australia. We've got uh, Baz Watson's 48 and his second anniversary. Michael Hussey, or you say, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, someone tell me, 58. Aaron Carson's 31 and Paddy McGrath is 10 and we're up to £75,890. So we'll just get the rest of this straw in now. I'll put a straw trailer on. Sun suit's been taking ages to go down at the moment. Right, brought that hitch back on to it. I've moved the header over to by the gateway for John to take back with the Merlot. Rob's there on the Valtra now to get the low loader. So there should be three trail machines to take back and two, well, two loads of straw on the header. And we've got three tractors here. And then we're hopefully done for the evening. We'll leave the headlands tomorrow. Hopefully it's not gonna rain in the morning. I keep saying hopefully, don't I? Um, we'll get them bailed in the morning, that little field over there. Probably won't combine tomorrow because it's giving it awful for Sunday and for a few days. So we'll wait till there's an extra dry spell and get through. Also, we've got to get that grass tomorrow as well. That's probably all for today anyway. Uh, what's been your favourite bit of today's video? Let us know in the comments and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Right, let's get ourselves a convoy back. John's just going out the gate picking some blackberries. Rob's behind on the Valter and I'm in the middle. CB's are flat, so I can't tell him that he's okay, but he's missing. He can steer, you see, into that post sometimes. And yeah, at least the cars are letting us out. Uh, back of the yard, special straw delivery as well from, not straw, sorry, um, spring delivery from Rickaby's. They didn't have that much the other day, so they brought some more around. Because we've still got a bit of baling to do, really, especially if we bale a bean straw. Anyway, Joe Seal's ending, that is it now. Um, a little bit of a palaver getting his trailer on because the block, pin in the block cracked, so it was a bit buried. But we were trying to get it loaded before it went dark, so didn't really get any footage of that. But I'll show you tomorrow what went wrong. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.